to get on about that. Um, yeah, Mark Ingram. I have a lot of friends on the team. Willie Sneed with the Saints I play with, so it's going to be fun to play against him. How much pride can you, I know this is kind of what has been your thing just to be in the league, but to kind of be a tone setter, a guy that <laughs> makes hits yeah. to kind of get the team energized, how much pride do you take in that? Uh, I mean, it's just part of my game. I don't think I go into the game saying, like, hey, I got to smack somebody so the team gets, but I've just always been like that. Like, it's really not nothing new for me. I mean, I, we played in a playoff game, and I did it in front of the whole world, so now everybody's kind of, you know, making a big deal out of it. But I've kind of been that way my whole career. And, and, and well, I guess Jackson's the type of guy, if you try to make a kill shot on him, he, he, he could make you look bad. I mean, what, what, what's kind of the challenge that you face a guy like that? You just got to get multiple guys around him. Um, anytime you try to do a kill shot, you'll probably get juked off the screen and end up on the check down Instagram. So <laughs> you don't want to end up on the highlight reels. Uh, I'm on Come On Man or something like that. So you got to break down, be a sound tackler, keep your eyes up, you know, feet moving. Otherwise, and even then, he probably still might juke you. So it is what it is. I think with that, those guys, you just got to play hard, play fast, play physical. And, you know, te the team game will take care of that. You don't want to be an individual tackler with him. Is there anybody that he reminds you of or anybody that you have faced that has a similar skill set at the quarterback position that helps you? No. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Vick, but, I mean, I looked up to him when I was little, yeah. but I didn't play against him. <laughs> he didn't rush for 1,200 yards. No, but they, I don't think they has many design runs with Mike Vick either. They got a whole team designed for run games for Lamar. I don't think I don't think Mike Vick had all these pulling linemen, and he, he was in the pot trying to pass the ball. Did you ever dream you'd see an NFL offense that looked like this, that committed to running? The did I dream about it? Well, no. I mean, no. I mean, did you ever think? Did you ever think we would we would see this? I mean, because I frankly never thought I would see this type of. A no, because I don't think coaches were ever going to get out of the stigmatism that you can build a quarter, build a, a, a team around a guy like that. I think it took us kind of sitting back and seeing guys like Kyler Murray and Lamar Jackson and that don't fit the, you know, 6-5, I can't say that, or you know, the mold of, a, you know, a quarterback. I think uh, it just took some guys some time, like, hey, we can use all these guys' skill sets. We talk about the run game, but then there's a guy like Mark Andrews. Mm -hmm. Just every time you see him, he seems to slip behind everybody and get yeah. some points. Yeah, he's done a great job. He went to OU, right? I, think I, remember, watching, I remember watching him at OU. He's, uh, he's done a great job. Um, Lamar really trusts them. You know they have a good rap report together. It's been fun to watch. Fun to watch on film.